मित्रांनो आज आपण ऑप्टिक्स याविषयी माहिती घेणार आहोत ऑप्टिक्स हा जर अकरावी आणि बारावीच्या दृष्टीने बघितला तर नीट आणि जेई या दोन्ही कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह एक्झाममध्ये किमान चार प्रश्न या ऑप्टिक्सवर विचारले जातात आणि म्हणूनच ऑप्टिक्सला फिजिक्समध्ये सगळ्यात जास्त महत्त्व आहे ऑप्टिक्समध्ये आपण दोन प्रकारचे ऑप्टिक्स बघतो आहे एक रे ऑप्टिक्स आणि दुसरं व्हेव ऑप्टिक्स इफ वी हॅव टू सी और वी हॅव टू स्टडी द रे ऑप्टिक्स फॉर दॅट वी हॅव टू यूज द लाईट वॉट इज मेन बाय लाईट इट इज द एनर्जी विच मेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट व्हिजिबल इट इज नथिंग बट इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिक वेव्स ऑफ व्हेरी शॉर्ट व्हेव लेंथ दॅट इज फोर थाउजंड अँगस्ट्रॉन युनिट टू एट थाउजंड अँगस्ट्रॉन युनिट अँड व्हेरी हाय फ्रिक्वेन्सी ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ टेन टू दी पावर फोर्टीन हर्स इट कंटेन्स सेवन कलर्स इट इज हॅविंग द ट्रान्सफर्स नेचर and always light travels in a straight line with a very high velocity which is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and therefore we have to light travels in a straight line and that path of the light is known as a ray of light and using the ray optics we have to study the different phenomenons like रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्रॅक्शन टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन अँड प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ रिव्हर्सिबिलिटी नाव वी हॅव टू स्टडी द डिफरंट फेनॉमिनॉन लाईक रिफ्लेक्शन सेकंड वन रिफ्रॅक्शन थर्ड वन प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ रिव्हर्सिबिलिटी principle of reversibility as well as we have to study the total internal reflection now what is meant by reflection and what proves the reflection of light reflection means the phenomenon of bouncing back the light rays from the plane reflecting surface is known as reflection of light and to study the reflection of light or to prove the law of reflection of light we have to see one ray diagram when a ray of light incident down the plane reflecting surface that is a mirror and a plane wave front ab which is bounded by the two rays PA and QB incident obliquely on the surface XY. When A touches the surface XY, it acts as secondary source of light and sending out secondary waves. At the same time, B reaches to C and covers a distance is equal to CT. After reflection, the reflected ray that is AS and CR and the refracted wave front that is cd and from this this is the normal we have to prove that incident angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection this is the first law of reflection second law is incident ray reflected ray and normal lie in the same plane and the third law is incident ray 
and reflected ray lie on the two sides of the normal here the width of the incident wave front is equal to width of the refract reflected wave front the frequency velocity as well as wavelength of light does not change during the reflection only the phase changes by 180 degree or pi radii after that we have to see the phenomenon of refraction the phenomenon of refraction can be defined as the change in path of ray of light when it travels from one medium to another medium is called the refraction of light to study the refraction of light we have to consider the ray diagram this is the plane refracting surface xy which separates the two medium that is rarer medium and second one is denser medium if c1 is the velocity of light in a rarer medium and c2 is the velocity of light in a denser medium a plane wave front ab which is bounded by the two rays that is pa and qb obliquely on the surface xy when a touches the surface xy it acts as secondary source of light and sending out secondary waves at the same time b reaches to c and covers a distance is equal to c 1 t now draw the sphere with center as a and radius is equal to c 2 t draw the tangent from c to the same sphere which meets at d c d represents new refracted wave front bounded by the two rays as and cr draw the normal to the point a that is mn angle made by the normal to the incident ray is called angle of incidence angle made by the refracted ray to the normal is known as angle of refraction by the geometry of the figure this angle is i and this angle is r we know that the refractive index is the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to sin of angle of refraction from figure sin i is equal to ab upon as bc sin i is equal to bc upon ac and sin r is equal to ad upon ac therefore the refractive index is equal to bc upon ad that is equal to c1 t divided by c2 t that is equal to c1 upon c2 hence the refractive index is the ratio of velocity of light in a rarer medium to velocity of light in a denser medium again we know that velocity is the product of frequency into wavelength and hence the refractive index is the ratio of wavelength of light in a rarer medium to wavelength of light in a denser medium but we know that the refractive index of any denser medium is always greater than 1 therefore c1 upon c2 greater than 1 hence c1 greater than c2 this is the first law of refraction that is velocity of light in a rarer medium is always greater than velocity of light in a denser medium also from the figure we conclude that the incident ray and refracted ray lie on the two sides of the normal the incident ray refracted ray and normal lie in the same plane also from this phenomenon we prove that the velocity wavelength changes during refraction frequency and phase does not change the width of incident wave front is always greater than width of width of refracted wave front is always greater than incident wave front refractive index 
is the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to sin of angle of refraction also it is the ratio of velocity of light in a rarer medium to velocity of light in denser medium or it is the ratio of wavelength of light in a rarer medium to wavelength of light in a denser medium now we have to see the refractive index are of two types that is absolute refractive index and relative refractive index what is meant by absolute refractive index the absolute refractive index is the refractive index of any denser medium with respect to rarer medium is known as absolute refractive index its value is always greater than 1 for glass it is 1.5 for water it is 1.33 for diamond 2.42 and for air or vacuum it is 1 now we have to see the relative refractive index relative refractive index is the refractive index of any denser medium with respect to another denser medium its value is greater than 1 or less than 1 depends upon the irrespective medium or relative mediums are there after that we have to study the phenomenon of principle of reversibility what is meant by principle of reversibility after undergoing the number of reflections and refraction the ray of light retraces its original path in the reverse direction is known as a principle of reversibility to study the principle of reversibility we have to draw one ray diagram now consider a ray of light this is a medium which separates the two medium that is a rarer medium as well as a denser medium the ray of light travels from rarer medium to denser medium the path of the ray of light is p a q after undergoing the number of refraction and refraction the ray of light again retraces its original path in the reverse direction that is q a p when it travels from rarer to denser medium at that time we have to write the refractive index can be written as sin i upon sin r suppose this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 then we have to write refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 means refractive index of denser medium with respect to rarer medium when the ray of light retraces its original path in the reverse direction that is the path is q a p at that time we have to write refractive index of 1 with respect to 2 can be written as sin r upon sin i in this case the angle of incidence is r and angle of refraction is i if we have to multiply with one another then refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 into refractive index of 1 with respect to 2 is equal to sin i upon sin r into sin r upon sin i this cancels therefore refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 is the reciprocal of refractive index of 1 with respect to 2 this is the principle of reversibility after that we have to see the total internal reflection total internal reflection 
the most important condition to study the total internal reflection is the ray of light travels from denser medium to rarer medium and the angle of incidence in the rarer medium is always greater than the critical angle now we have to consider a surface xy which separates the two medium that is a rarer medium and another medium is a denser medium the source of light that is s is situated in the denser medium the incident light which goes straight that is known as normal incidence at that time their angle of incidence as well as angle of reflection both are zero this is called a normal incidence now the angle of incidence in the denser medium goes on increasing suppose this is the incident ray and this is a a dash b the refracted ray if angle of incidence is i and angle of refraction is r angle of incidence goes on increasing angle of refraction also goes on increases at certain angle of incidence the angle of refraction is 90 degree this angle of incidence is known as a critical angle now the angle of incidence in the denser medium is again increases which is greater than the critical angle at that time the whole light can be reflected back in the same medium this phenomenon is known as a total internal reflection this this phenomenon helps full for optical fiber brilliance of the diamond mirage these are the different phenomenons these are the applications of total internal reflection also total internal reflection proves the critical angle that is ic is equal to 1 upon refractive sin ic is equal to 1 upon refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 and uh, which is the critical angle is the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degree therefore we have to write this as refractive index of 1 with respect to 2 is the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to sin of angle of refraction but i is equal to ic and r is equal to 90 therefore refractive index of 1 with respect to 2 is equal to sin ic divided by sin 90 hence we have to write sin ic is equal to refractive index of 1 with respect to 2 or it is equal to 1 upon refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 there are some formula is for finding the critical angle that is ic is equal to sin inverse refractive index of 1 with respect to 2 or sin inverse 1 by refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 or it is equal to sin inverse c2 divided by c1 or sin inverse lambda 2 divided by lambda 1 Okay students the